What is up everybody, AG here back again with another video. So I'll be checking out the special program for Honkai Star Rail version 2.7. Now this should be a very good one as it will drop inf more info on new characters which are Sunday now being will be a, a playable character and then Jing Yin being a uh, playable character. And as a matter of fact, right, I won't be surprised that by the end of this special program, they will drop a teaser of some kind for version 3.0. Most likely, they will reveal more info on Zahirta, and then the new um, the new path of uh, which is the path of remembrance. I forgot what's the name of the new character though. And also, let's not forget about the the Trailblazer uh, following the path of remembrance. So. Anyhow, um, let's not waste any time and check out the special program for Honkai Star Rail version 2.7. Alright Honkai Star Rail, let's see what you got this time. It's finally sparkling clean! Hmm... Huh? That's definitely Albert's feather. Who is ruining the conductor's work? Though this feather oh. does look similar in shape to my ear feathers, it is of a different color, and thus unlikely to be mine. Well, come on, Conductor! You know me! I care more about my hair than anyone else! If I was really shedding that much, I'd be jumping out of my chair right now! It's hey, Albert. you feather shedder! Who are- Oh man, this anxiety is making me lose hair! So, it's you! <laughs> Lol! On to the trailer. Oh, welcome to the party car, nameless. Would you like to have a drink, a snack, or commence party time? Commence party time. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What did I just see? The party started right now, but please feel free to relax and unwind here. The stars are numerous, and yet. Oh. Widely scattered. Fugue. Dreams of a past life are now all gone. Oh my gosh, she's so elegant. Stretches far and wide. As long as she's so elegant. Oh my gosh. There will always be a chance for reunion. Damn. Please, Panacone. I'd like to take some time to look back. Oh, who knows who did that? Uh oh. Echoes of the past. You need not fade away. Sunday with a new outfit. Follow me. To the stars. Should one desire to leave the stage for good. One must first step back onto the stage. Hold up. Have you ever thought about making them pay? Okay. Not gonna lie, that trailer's kind of a uh, vague. That trailer's kind of a uh, vague, and it's kind of a. Uh, I don't know. It feel, it felt kind of rushed, as a matter of fact. I mean, it's kind of nice to see Fugue being elegant and whatnot, but still, I feel like the trailer itself felt kind of rushed. Still, and as a matter of fact, why are they teasing the uh, the revelation of Zaherta at the at the in two point seven? Because I believe she will be she would definitely will be available in three point zero, but we'll see how it is. And I have a gut feeling that we'll be getting a Sunday Companion mission in um, version 2.7 from the looks of it. And as for Fugui, I'm not really sure though, but Albert, anyhow, I'll just shut up for now. Time to do the introductions! My head. So dizzy. Who am I? Where am I? Uh, oh, Albert. Once upon a time, you were the center Ooh. of attention. Sunday with the you booty. owned the mic, cool, and the whole cosmos was at your feet. When your mic was on, even IPC execs had to make way for you. I'm starting to remember something. And who are you guys? Uh, you 
you even forgot us? I'm March 7th! Long time no see, everyone. I am Sunday. Hello, everyone! I'm Pom Pom, conductor of the Astral Express. It's a pleasure to be a part of the special program. Well, since Albert lost his memory, uh, uh? I'll be the host this time. That way I'll get paid double. <laughs> I suddenly remember everything now. And now you remember everything. Your world has the concept of a week. Good Monday, good Sunday, and good every day in between. Welcome. Okay. Okay, I think Albert's memory is kind of messed up as of this very moment. Oh, I see that Mr. Owlbert has recovered. He even improved his lines. Is that the power of a salary? <laughs> Stop. But keep going. This special program where I get to see everyone is what I look forward to the most every season. <laughs> Some light amnesia is nothing compared to this show. Aww. Right. Uh, come to think of it, it's really emotional to share the stage with Mr. Sunday again. <laughs> the performance in the Penacone Grand Theater still seems like just yesterday. I didn't realize it's been so long. When did March 7th suddenly get so sentimental? Uh, hey, it's normal for cute girls like me to get sentimental. Uh, now, Mr. Sunday, you aren't gearing up to make headlines again, are you? But if you want to promote a seven-day weekend, I think I'd be down for that. <laughs> well... Sunday's sweaty. Oh, and I also saw Miss Ting Yoon in the trailer. She's wearing such a gorgeous dress. I really wonder what she went through. Slow down, March 7th. <laughs> let's get to those one at a time. Yeah. Firstly, let's get reacquainted with an old friend who's been out of the spotlight for a while. Starting things off with Sunday. Wow. They, they, they had to choose a choir-like music for a Sunday, huh? They had to choose a choir-like music. And I won't be surprised when Molly sees this, she she will either go... She will lose her goddamn mind? Do you or, remember at the end of version or she will go, Lord have mercy and what not. Sunday and gave him yeah, some yeah. kind and caring advice? Oh, oh child! Go see what this world is truly like. Uh, Mr. Sunday? Aren't you gonna say anything? Why do I feel like that's not how things played out? <laughs> He's just telling the story from a different perspective. Perhaps what that Lady Bonajade said was true. Descend to the mortal realm and walk their lands. See what this world is truly like. That did change my perspective on Penacony and teach me a great deal. Lady Bonaje. I am no oh, longer Jake, the Jake, head of the Jake. Oak family, but a mere escaped fugitive. Eek! Escaped? Oh, You're just so he's a fugitive. In broad daylight like that? Aren't you afraid of being caught by the family? It seems Mr. Sunday was able to return to Penacony thanks to the secret aid of a Papeshi named One Week. I see. So, Mr. Sunday still had an ace up his sleeve? I've lived in Penacony for so long, I still have some connections that are willing to look out for me once in a while. Seems hmm. like your robe and hood are also there to conceal your identity. Indeed, wise conductor. My original outfit stands out far too much. I need to disguise myself somewhat to avoid stirring up unnecessary troubles. Oh. Ah! I thought it was because his original suit got made into the Sicardos Relived Ordeal Relic set. And he um. had to get a new outfit, because he's got no clothes left. <laughs> <laughs> really much, really. <laughs> Mr. Sunday was once the Bronze Melodia, and spent years listening to others' confessions. And yet, he's now an escaped convict. <laughs> this must be a brand new experience for someone who used to be a high and mighty head of the family. Oh, the crew totally knows how that feels. Bellabog was once plastered with our wanted posters. But I'm 
curious what Mr. Sunday's wanted poster would look like. The family most likely did not make a big show of this. In order to preserve the dreamscape's stability and avoid arousing too much suspicion. Wait, mm -hmm. no posters? <sighs> Trust me, it's a very unique experience to collect wanted posters of yourself. Really? Did I get someone to draw one for Mr. Sunday? <laughs> uh... <laughs> that would not be necessary. I actually heard some strange rumors circulating around Pentacody. <laughs> Something like <clears throat> Mr. Sunday got hit by a car and is currently resting, and the culprit of this traffic accident ran away. Uh, <laughs> what? what? Strange rumor. There was no traffic accident. It was all about the power of the uh, friendship. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> To the previous topic, you won't be stirring up trouble in Penacony this time, right, Mr. Sunday? Of course not. It's not just the Astral Express and Penacony that woke up from Anna's dream. I woke up too. Having discarded the blessings from both the Harmony and Order, I will now pursue the utopia of my dreams as a mere mortal. Oh. I have returned to Penacony this time. Only because I wish to complete a final performance before I embark on a new venture on the Eighth Dawn. Seems like the version name has a deeper meaning this time. Yep. If you're curious, then please experience the story for yourself in the game. And for more tidbits on the journey Sunday took to pursue his dreams, as well as the story of how he fell into thorny paths many times, but climbed back out every time. <laughs> we'll show it all in the Myriad Celestia trailer. Yes, Stay tuned. Trailer. Okay. Uh, yay! Stay tuned! Then let's have a look at how Sunday performs in battle. I am an imaginary character, following the path of harmony. When using my technique in the overworld, I will leave a halo that buffs my teammates. Okay. My skill causes one designated ally character and their summon to immediately take action and increases their damage dealt. Here's the oh, if that's if forward? Ally character has a summon, then the damage Just like Bronya, huh? Will be higher. However, be aware that when Sunday uses his skill on ally characters following the path of harmony, they are not able to immediately take action. Oh! Right, Don't you think those golden figures that fly out when Mr. He has to be a character other than harmony characters. That one day I see okay, there's a there's a slight side. demerit, but when using my ultimate, I shall spread my wings and regenerate energy for one ally character. That blessed character and their summon will become the Beatified for a number of my turns. Ally targets who have become the Beatified shall bear a halo and have their crit damage increased. Oh, if Mr. Sunday can make summons immediately take action and bless them. Can you do that with Miss Topaz's Numbi? Of course I can. Oh. Then what about Linksha's Incense Beast? I can do that too. Ah, huh, then can you do that to Owlbert as a summon of the special program? Um, no. If Mr. Owlbert doesn't mind the immediate increase to his workload, then I suppose... <laughs> hey! I am sitting right here! So basically, <laughs> he be Sunday is best friend ah, in Jingyuan. Now that we've talked about Sunday, it's time to get reacquainted what do we ask with you? this thing you, or should I say, fugue. Oh, it's pronounced fugue. Fugue, formerly known as Tingyin. Or to be, uh, Tingyin's alternate name. Oh my gosh, she's so elegant. I am so pulling for fugue. I thought it was pronounced Fugue, but, but apparently it's pronounced as Fugue. Alright. Okay, that clears up any misunderstandings. <sighs> I miss Miss Ting Yoon so much. Hmm. Why is Miss Ting Yoon in Penacony? Well, that's Wait, a long she's in story. Miss Ting Yoon literally had one foot in the grave after her encounter with Pantelia. It's oh. only thanks to the Genius Society's Madame Ron May that yep. she regained a chance at life. Madame Ron May is indeed a genius in the life sciences. Which was mentioned in 2.5 at the end of 2.5. met Miss Ting Yun when they visited Madame Ron May, and we voluntarily took on the task to take Miss Ting Yun home. 
That's oh. the express crew for you. Eager to help is basically our middle name. However, Miss Ting Yun wanted to stop somewhere before reaching the Sien Zhou, so she could calm her thoughts. It happened that the Express needed to pick up supplies at Penacony, so she came with us. I see. Oh. I am curious, however. What is worrying Miss Ting Yun? Oh, maybe it has something to do with this new name? Fugue? I suppose the name Fugue combines both her regret of not having returned home for so long and her confusion regarding her current identity. Miss oh. Tinyun doesn't need any help with daily life, but Pom Pom often sees her spacing out on her own, like she's thinking about something really hard. Indeed. After a close brush with death, it's easy to feel that you've become a completely different person. Uh, Madame Ron May may have healed Miss Tinyun's body, but it looks like her spiritual wounds can only be healed by Miss Tinyun herself. Passenger March, you and our gray trailblazer know Penacony inside and out. So can you two take Miss Ting Yun for a stroll to cheer her up? The conductor can't bear to see sad passengers. Oh, that's right. Penacony, the planet of festivities, is the place to get cheered up. <laughs> you can definitely take Miss Ting Yun around, get some good food, go on a shopping spree. No problem. Leave it to us. And for more details Whoa. regarding how Miss Ting Yoon made her way back, please stay tuned for Fugue's Myriad Celestia trailer. I'm definitely gonna be reacting to this uh, the trailer, the Myriad trailer for sure. Abilities. Fugue okay. is a fire character following the path of nihility. Mm -hmm. While she's on the field, allies' attacks against weakness broken enemies will additionally deal super break damage. Whoa. Whoa. After using her skill, Fu can increase an ally character's break effect and give them the Foxy and Prayer effect. Foxy At the and same Prayer time, Fugue's own basic attack will become enhanced. When an ally character with Foxy and Prayer attacks, there's also a chance to reduce the enemy target's defense. When using her ultimate, Fugue can deal fire damage to all enemies. And this attack ignores weakness types to reduce what? all enemies' toughness. Damn! Such gorgeous tails. Are Damn! Ignore weakness. It Holy crap! Made some optimizations when re-sculpting Miss Ting Yun's body. Using Fugue's technique in the overworld can inflict daze on enemies in a set radius. Wow! Entering battle by attacking dazed enemies will advance Fugue's action and reduce the enemy target's defense. Wow! The tails are really captivating. Oh, I just want to bury my face in Miss Ting Yun's tail. He looks so fluffy. <laughs> really? <sighs> the conductor will be upset again if we get fur all over the express. Hey, no ruining the express's cleanliness. <laughs> <laughs> then let us have a look at version 2.7's banners. In version 2.7's first half warp event, Trailblazers can acquire the limited five star. Why the hell do you put the OG, OG the TG in phase one, buddy? A grounded ascent. Will Let me guess. Firefly in phase. Oh, it's Jing Yuan. Five star character Jing Yuan is returning. And at the same time, two dudes in phase one. Icon before dawn will become available I mean, but then again, it can make sense. In version 2.7 second half warp event. Trailblazers can better not be Firefly, I swear. It better not be Firefly the for the rerun. Long road leads home. will also have a boosted drop rate. The Fuck! Time, the limited five-star character Fuck! Firefly is returning. And at the same time, the limited five-star <laughs> The rumors were true. Should dreams rest? <laughs> the rumors were true. Hey! Uh, Damn it! Actually, a question that's been eating Wait. away at me. New Trailblazer Vision new Chapter. Dawn. Are we venturing out on a new trail? Some will return, some will soon leave. <laughs> the dreamscape is embroiled in mook and uncertainty. At the end to of behold the power hit, one must learn to retrospect. Black Swan recommended that the express crew head to Amphorius. Amphorius, the eternal land, a place where even the eon of the trailblaze Akavili failed to reach. In the version 2.7 Trailblaze mission, a new venture on the eighth dawn. Navigator Miss Himiko. Homecai Starrier, you cruel motherfuckers! You have the audacity to food Fuke 
Oh, should I say Ting Yun and Firefly in the same fucking face? What in the actual dumb fuck? Well, Mr. Sunday. You how guys are all these like Fuki and Firefly in the same planet? Which one? Which should I go? Which one? Seems like the Robin Hood didn't do much. FTP players, I'm going to be in a freaking dilemma right now. Well, if you ask me, getting caught by the express crew isn't a bad thing. <laughs> As for the ladies, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very good feeling they're going to go for Sunday 1000% and Skip Jigen. Based on the Trailblazer's decision. Uh, and here's what I noticed. Does the Trailblazer get to make a choice again? Well, as to what kind Those two of rewind characters are based on a Sunday. poll. Are based on a poll Easy on which character are the most uh, popular, one uh, most popular of, of all time. Uh, don't forget, version two point seven is the is final version before number one in China, next stop. while Firefly is number one in and Japan, as well as the prologue. To the brand new story in version 3.0. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Wait, they've been building 3.0 already? Therefore, to ensure that everyone has a good experience with the story, this version has added a story recap function. Ooh. Before starting a new Trailblaze right. mission, you can select to review a summary of previous Trailblaze missions. For example, since you've experienced several well, that's kind of neat. in a row between versions 2.4 and 2.6, you can use this So this is in preparation for version 3.0 before starting the version 2.7 Trailblaze mission. Oh, I like this. If you want to know how things are going to develop, you should read the story recap first. Well said. Here's another example. For the show to continue to the next segment, we will also need to have a recap. Uh, what? Uh, what? And for the, the did this special the program put a bite on the door? <laughs> Navigator Miss Hemiko decides to go seek information about Amphorius just to be on the safe side. Gods may have cast down the flames of wisdom. But the fires of civilization are lit by humanity. Huh? Amphorius, through strife, writes of the intersection of three paths. It is a world where heroes across the land embark on the flame chase journey together. What's going on? Where humankind rewrites destiny. What is going on? In the legend's beginning. The world was pure chaos. What is going on? Then the gods cast down the core flames, and the titans were born within. Three titans carved the heavens and earth. Three worlds. Uh, what is going three. on? Three molded life with their hands, and three guided calamity's gate. The titans blaze enlightened civilizations, and people of all realms thrived endlessly. The golden age was fleeting. Is this some? Um, and from beyond the sky, is this a reference to some Greek mythology kind of a story? Its gloom was darker than death itself, driving the titans to madness. Yeah, this. Yeah, based on the 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 art style, this is very Greek mythology ish. Across the land, and a stain of blood consumed the light of dawn. As the gods waged war, the sun itself grew quiet. In all, a millennium of divine conflict left only a shattered world and an age of darkness. Oh boy. The core flames flickered and dimmed, and the age of the gods met its end. Golden blood fell to the ground as a distant prophecy resounded. Flow, golden blood, flow. Converge into a boiling river that flows to the heroic airs of the uh... sea. Aglaia the gold weaver, you must gently caress the holy city's silken web and hearken to the sounds and voices of destiny. Oh! There shall be the three faced messenger traversing through myriad doors. Bearing tidings to you from hundreds of worlds. 
Anaxagoras the Foolish has enough knowledge to refute fate. They're really new, you really new characters already? Capable of slaying gods. Go seek the priest who severs dawn from dusk, and let the sky become the slumbering cot from which she wakes. They can roar, my demons, the undying. Whoa. Pierce the enemy's king with Kremnos' blood. Yeah, from the way I see it, they're, they're doing some great motion. Some. The fleet -footed. Command Based on the design, the this is very great mythology kind of a thing. And that servant of the Hand Shadow, the daughter of River Styx. If you grant her the right to embrace, then even frozen death will sleep peacefully at her fingertips. Okay. Why does this character look like the one you character from Hokai Impact? Abyss reverberating through the storm. You will see outlanders from faraway realms visiting under the veil of gloom. Until the journey's end, when the titans of old have all fallen, and the nameless new king ascends the throne alongside countless heroes to embark on the grand mission of deliverance. I gaze towards the distant future, where the sun shall etch the footprints of humanity. The children of humankind, known as the Chrysos As, shall pluck the gods' oh. core flames, and nice. once more uphold the world. Yes. The flame chase is so a journey one. of constant yeah. loss. Yeah! This character looks that like they're the one character. Uh, what was his name? Elysia? Life itself holds little value. And three are hid- wait, four are hidden. Therefore we cast even ourselves into the flame. Only to inscribe the opening stroke in the poem of creation. Yeah, this is very Greek mythology-ish. Most heroes' journeys in the universe are just oh. dice tosses through on a whim. Will your answer be any different, Amphorius? Of course, this will be a romantic story like none that has come before. Wait, what? You think so too, right? Wow. I did not expect them to drop a 3.0 teaser halfway. And that is quite a lengthy teaser as a matter of fact. And among the the new characters in 3.0, there is one character that looks really, really familiar. Even though I do not play Honkai Impact 3rd, I'll be really all, but I do know um, how the character in Hobai character looks like. And there's one character that looks very firm, uh, that looks exact about the same as that one character from Honkai Impacted. I forgot what is the, the, uh, the character's name is. I believe it's Alicia, I'm not really sure. Please feel free to comment, correct me if I'm wrong, or down on the comment down section, on the comment section. But anyway. Back, everyone. Did you notice that the studio we're in this time is very special? <laughs> Would anyone like to guess where we are? It looks like the Astral Express, but I don't remember having a car like this. That's right. We are in the familiar Astral Express coach. This is really a car on the Express? Why did nobody tell me that we've got an extra one? March, the conductor worked so hard every day to clean so many cars. Did you never notice? This party car has been here since completing the Trailblaze mission. The voyage continues. In other words, since the Trailblazer boarded the Express. Well, hang on. Oh. I, I... You... History fiction knowledgeist? <laughs> <laughs> Lol. <sighs> fine, fine. Just treat it as if I lost my memory. <sighs> kind friends, could you please reintroduce this car to me? <laughs> Not to worry. <laughs> Welcome, dear guests to the Astral Express Party Car. Here, we have a spacious reception area, a cool-toned marble bar, and mm -hmm. a nostalgic bartending robot. 
with the cosmos as a backdrop, sharing a drink with the express crew, or having some alone time next to the window is guaranteed to invoke the most profound thoughts. Dear guest, would you like a glass of the Trailblazer special? Whoa. Mm. <laughs> uh, wait, where do those stairs go up to? Following the stairs up would, of course, lead to the Trailblazer's room. Well, when did they get their own room? <sighs> Besides, this room is such a mess. It's Whoa. obviously a storage room. Did Marsha's amnesia get worse? <laughs> this is also a room that's been there since completing the Trailblaze mission. The voyage continues. Indeed. <laughs> Even though there was no extra passenger cabin room for the Trailblazer, we would never mistreat our youngest member. After the Trailblazer boarded the Express, the crew decided to give to them the second floor storage room in the party car. Also, the largest room on the Express. That's oh. right, that's right. <laughs> it was definitely not an oversight by the devs. <laughs> what? Am I wrong? Or is the world wrong? <laughs> All right, enough jokes. <laughs> the Trailblazer's room will finally be implemented in version 2.7. Thanks for waiting, everyone. I told you this is a new feature. Well, now that I look at it, this room is pretty barren despite its size. There's not even a bed here. Is the Trailblazer gonna sleep in a cardboard box? Of course not. In the version 2.7 event, Cosmic Home Decor Guide, the Trailblazer will renovate and furnish the barren storage room and make it a room of their own. Oh. That sounds super fun. Okay. Uh, but renovating sounds pretty difficult. Where should we start? Not to worry. The reliable conductor has already set up a zoning plan for the Trailblazer. That's right. The Trailblazer's room will be split into multiple zones, such as a bedroom and a bathroom. During the event, Trailblazers need to obtain furniture using express funds acquired through completing duties and fill up the empty room little by little. Oh, so Once this complete, will be the, the flagship event for version 2.7. Enough Got to it. rival the most opulent rooms in Penacony. But what are these duties you speak of? Pom Pom centrally manages all the resources on the Astral Express. If you want furniture, then you need to help the conductor do chores. Rewards come from hard work, and everyone needs to work together to maintain the Express. Uh, that's true. We can't let Pom Pom do the sweeping on their own every day. So what exactly do we need to do? Before each round of duties, the Trailblazer needs to put together a duty team and finish tasks together. Different okay. team compositions will trigger different combo effects to help do chores more efficiently. Trailblazers can use action cards to effectively plan out actions on the schedule and obtain corresponding work contribution value and funds. Sometimes you'll trigger different random events as you work or create wonderful memories with different passengers. Okay. Um... While we're on duty, can we slack off a little? Uh. Just a little? Haha! -ha! The conductor anticipated that some of you would slack off. Pom Pom will be holding irregular dinner meetings during the duty period to evaluate the work contribution of those on duty. The evaluation results will affect how much funds the Trailblazer will receive. However, the Trailblazer can also use various tactics and meeting abilities during the meeting to get the best score possible. Oh, so okay. properly attending meetings can get Pom Pom to give us more pocket money. Oh, I'm so touched. Hey, Pom Pom heard that. Well, the meeting's outcome was mostly based on the duties done. Besides, once you've got enough express funds, what follows is the exciting renovation segment. Mm -hmm. Yep, if you work hard enough, you can get all the furniture you like. <sighs> I get such a feeling of accomplishment when I see the area getting filled up little by little. Also, once you've completed renovating the zones in the room, you can unlock the conductor's new outfit. Really? Ooh. I can finally fulfill my wish of dressing up Pom Pom? What is the conductor going to do with you? Yes, Pom Pom's coat room is on the party car's first floor. Okay. Trailblazer. Feel free to give recommendations on the conductor's everyday outfits. I can't wait. All right. uh, can we get a preview of the room? Just for reference. Not 
your problem. Close your eyes. And open them. Now the Trailblazer has returned to their own room. Ooh. Whoa. I'm so this tired looks after gorgeous. Stay a trailblazer. <laughs> the first thing to do after putting on some slippers and head to my room is to have a lovely hot bath. A hot bath, huh? Which bath salt should I use? Um, what's this red stuff? I think it is a present left by Mr. Jiao Cho. Really, Jiao Chu? You can jump into the big comfy bed and enjoy some rest and relaxation. You can also have a wonderful time in the game room, full of top-notch gaming hardware. Wow, Whoa. three 4K monitors? Oh, I'm jealous. Awesome. I only have one 4K Where monitor, as a matter of fact. Which we'll is right in front of me right now. Trailblazer has found on various worlds. Well, this monitor or, 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 on my, on, on, the, on the, over here if you switch is, a, is practically a 1080p monitor. Also and yes, I have two monitors as of this very moment. 4K monitor on, over here <laughs> and a 1080p monitor <laughs> over here. For the trailblazer to visit. Oh, what a cute cat burger. I feel like I could I mean, if you're not a streamer, you, having one more room. unit is completely Even fine, but you if you're a streamer, your own hard work, it is recommended to have like, um, like at least two no monitors. How comfy your home is. Don't forget to go outside once in a while. Uh, good. So that you have uh, one um, three streaming monitor Indeed. on on in the on, the, on your side monitor, the while your gaming, while your gaming screen will be the main monitor. Photographer and head outside to take pictures with her. Oh, what fired up March's enthusiasm for photography? I mean, if you if you can't oh, afford to have two monitors, you can have one. Director, one monitor is also completely fine, but you're gonna have difficulty to trying to read the chat with only one monitor. Mr. Rekka has assigned various photography tasks with different themes. During the event, the Trailblazer and I will photograph Zoom in. suitable scenes Zoom in. together. Zoom in to up. Never tasks. mind. The Trailblazer and Miss March also have a chance to obtain special items during the photography sessions. You might get surprising photos by using them. What kind of special items are there? For example, Sparkle's Kaleidoscope? Uh, I feel like we might see some... Watch the one. You want to use me as an experiment? Hey yo, we need some context on that, buddy. Trailblazers can use this chance to invite friends made during the journey, as well as members of the Express crew to take a group photo together. Oh, yay! My favorite. Must someone's outfit? When in the blue hell are we gonna get that outfit? For this update, we've added some curios and weighted curios. Okay, more updates on Divergent Universe. Random occurrences. That's right. In version 2.7, the save file from the Divergent Universe will also last longer. Instead of refreshing every Monday, the save file will now reset whenever the Divergent Universe has a version update. That oh! Way, the good save files that you've worked hard to get can last for even longer. Nice. And you can use them to extract planar ornaments. Yep. And I heard that in version 3.0, there will be some ways to raise synchronicity level faster in the Divergent Universe. So you can unlock full synchronicity level rewards faster. Now you can take your time and not worry about how you're going to grind for the rewards. The Pure Fiction mode will also have an update. In the new Pure, Pure Fiction, Fiction. Okay. Trailblazers will be able to experience the brand new grid mechanics. Uh, let me see. After the version 2.7 update, the different stage effects for each period will become different grit mechanics? That's right. Activate grit mechanics in each battle to rapidly accumulate grit value. Once full, characters will enter surging grit, gaining powerful buffs that can help you defeat enemies faster. Apart from activating Oops. grit mechanics, defeating enemies can also accumulate grit value. Moreover, during surging grit, the Trailblazer can also accumulate a certain amount of resurging tide through defeating enemy units. When okay. Surging Grit ends and you return to Concordant Truce, the previously accumulated resurging tide will turn into Grit value, helping you to save up for the next Surging Grit. So it's okay. like cash back once you've spent enough money? <laughs> <laughs> After the update, the enemy mechanics in Pure Fiction will also have changes. Non-boss enemies will continuously refresh after they are defeated. Also, 
Apart from directly damaging enemy bosses, you can also reduce the boss's health by defeating non-boss enemies. Nice. Once you've defeated the boss, you can instantly enter the next wave. You mean you can also kill mobs as soon as possible to defeat the boss? Oh, well, that's this awesome. gonna neat. Now I won't have to worry about having only the boss left on the field to deal with. Also, the new non-boss enemies allow us to trigger grit mechanics faster and enter surging grit earlier. There are also nice. some hotly anticipated quality of life changes in coming. From version 2.7, the highest quick clear floor in the Forgotten Hall will be adjusted from floor 7 to 9. In Whoa. other words, as long as one successfully clears the Forgotten Hall floor 9, one can obtain all rewards from the 9 floors at once? Oh, wow. Just That's like huge. How you could get 7 floors worth of rewards by clearing floor That's 7. That's huge. In version 2.7, we will also be reducing the size of the game client file, helping Trailblazers reduce the amount of storage needed on their device. There will be an nice. option to delete past resources on mobile clients, so you can delete some audio and graphics you've already experienced to save storage space. Nice. Oh, I need that. Can't have too but this is more for uh, mobile players. Though. Last but not least, it's the new version content we are all familiar with. Firstly. Of course, Keep of Odyssey. Gift of Odyssey will be arriving in version 2.7 as always. Of course, <laughs> the usual. Yeah. Yes. The planar fissure and realm of the strange events will also return. You'll of course. To get double rewards. And now <laughs> it's time for a short break. The program will resume in just a few moments. Wait, there's more more stuff. Oh, there's gonna be more stuff regarding um 3.0. I'm kind of curious because I think they pretty much wrap up everything regarding 2.7. Still, the fact that Firefly and and Fugue is in the same same phase, God damn it! Ay ay ay. Anyhow, let's see. Anyway. Regarding 2.7, I wouldn't think we'll be checking out the Trailblaze mission without, sh without a shadow of a doubt. And I will be pulling for Fugue also. And I think that's pretty much... I don't think I'll be pulling for Sunday because... Because um, from the looks of it, I, I believe Sunday is his best paired with Jinguan. And I don't have Jinguan, so I'll pull. But I will say this, for those of you who want to pull for Sunday... Welcome back! Good luck. Like we've mentioned before, we're about to head to version 3.0. Uh -huh. The devs would like to use this special program to preview some important information about future versions. The devs? Firstly, we will be implementing a new path. Yeah, we are. Path of have, Remembrance. Yeah, we know that. The Jeep, thanks to the Jeep marketing. Some of the new friends, the Trailblazer will meet at Emporium. We'll walk the Path of Remembrance. Oh? What kind of special mechanics does this path have? Good Characters question. Characters walking the path of remembrance have summons called memo sprites. Different memo sprites have various specialties and can take on different duties in battle. When fighting in the same team as those following the path of remembrance, memo sprites will also become reliable on-field teammates fighting beside you. Ah, this flying cutie So basically, is the, the characters true. that follow the path Feels of remembrance like are basically a bunch of this. summoners. Ugh. Like the new path that the Trailblazer will unlock during version 3.0. Which makes sense why there was there, there, there's a pet at the uh, at the side of the so that Trailblazer. Just now is the Trailblazer's memo sprite. Yep. Version 3.0 will also add trace materials for the Path of Remembrance. <laughs> As a spoiler, there will not be any new trace materials for other paths anytime soon. <laughs> we'll oh. be sure to tell you in advance when nice. there are new materials. And there's another piece of news. Wish to rent it. Will also be updated in version 3.0. Trailblazers can currently use for stop stats cut to my synthesis. Set a relic's main stat. In version 3.0, you will be able to set a relic's main stat and subsidiary stats using specific items when synthesizing new pieces. What? Can you elaborate on that, Mr. Owlbert? You can consume a certain amount of the new item, Wispo Resin, on top of consuming self modeling resin. Oh my lord, in heaven! And substats. 
you can also convert self-modeling resin into wishful resin. Huh? Doesn't that mean the ten out of ten. needs to save ten out of ten. Best resin? mobile game. The so best I mobile game ever. You win. Resin? This is the best QOL feature in ever. Jeez. Remember to save your self-modeling resin and plan how you want to use it after reading the announcement. In addition, version 3.0 also introduces a chance for you to redistribute a relic subsidiary stats enhancements for fully enhanced gold rarity relics. <laughs> These changes will be explained in more detail in the future. As for now, please endure the epilogue of your Benicoinan vacation. Oh my lord in heaven! <laughs> Right, this is such a good QOL feature. 10 out of 10. 10 out of Wait, freaking... Mr. Albert! Pom Pom found something in the storage boxes when clearing out the room for the Trailblazer. It's something Why? everyone will definitely be interested in. I'll go get it right now! Uh, 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 huh? Bean soda, spring water, soul glass, trick snacks, cusp for wraps. <laughs> coming through! What? Delicious snacks. Oh, thank you, conductor. Oh, not these. Here, it's this one. What? Oh, is that a five-star selector ticket for what? regular five-star characters? After the what? version 2.7 update and until version 3.2 ends, after 2.7 is launched, log in the game to claim a permanent five-star five character. character oh, doing? permanent five-star, not limited. <laughs> permanent five-star. So so but still. Good. Oh Let my the conductor for their generosity. Just oh clarify, my goodness, this is huge. This, this is huge. No one knows who put it there. <sighs> Looking back on our journey in Penacony, 10 out of 10. Like 10 out of 10. <laughs> this will forever This will forever be the reason why I will continue playing Honkai Star Will. Let's all set off together and keep <laughs> Hoyo, see, if you keep this up, you're gonna Thank you, Trailblazer. You're gonna make keep people right, continue playing Hunkai Star man. Throughout this journey. <laughs> and now, the version 2.7 special programming. Why don't we take a group photo together, conductor? Sure. A group photo? Gather around. Uh, well, hold on. Let me do a pose. Really? Oh, wait, hold up. Yeah, Zaharta. Well, that's about it for now. If you guys enjoyed my reaction to the special program for Funkai Sarve version 2.7, I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video. And leave a comment down below what are your thoughts on the special program? Will you guys will be pulling for Sunday? Will you guys will be pulling for Fugue? Or are you guys saving up for the characters that will be available for in from 3.0 onwards? Personally, I will be pulling for Fugue or Ting Yin without a shadow or without. But it really baffles me the fact that uh, fireflies. The firefly rerun is is it happens at the same time as Fugue's banner. Still, I will be pulling for Fugue without a shadow or doubt, and I definitely will be uploading a, a YouTube video of me pulling for Fugue. And as a matter of fact, right, I will definitely will be checking out the Travis mission for version two point seven, and I will definitely be moving. We'll be uploading a YouTube video of me uh, going through that particular showcase mission, so do look forward to that. Until and I gotta say, man, this is this is huge. This is this is kind of this special program is kind of huge. They, and they're definitely preparing for version three point oh, which will happen in about about two months time, I believe. So I'll definitely will be looking forward to version three point oh without a shadow now. And for the look of things, right, I've got the feeling that version 3.0, they're going for a Greek um, mythology vibe from the looks of it. But in it, but it's it's very it's very it's too early to tell. Uh, the only uh, the the only answers we get regarding uh, what will what kind of a setting we, version 3.0 will be, the only answer we get is when version when the special program for version 3.0 drops in about two months time. 
Until then, thank once again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. My name is AJ, and I will see you all in the next video.